In today's video, we will be going over some leaks that nobody else has any idea of. And that is because almost three weeks ago on June 5th, I sat down, took a look at all the sets that we've got from Lego and something in particular stood out to me. Now, as well as this, we will be going over other leaks that do have their own videos. So I will let you know where you can find the videos and probably also leave them all on the end screen as long as there aren't too many. But I think we should get straight into this because you all clicked on the thumbnail to see the set that Wolf is coming on. And this video is going to be a lot of speculation. So sit back and I hope you enjoy. So the first leak actually comes from the Lego Star Wars advent, particularly all the builds. We'll ignore the minifigures and take a look at that September. I will be reviewing the advent early just in case you needed any more reasons to pick up the set. But we get a few builds that we used to see and a bunch of UCS sets are actually represented in here. We've got the at at or AT-AT, -AT, the Venator, the Landspeeder, the Falcon, the X-Wing, the Razor Crest, and on top of all the UCS sets represented, we also have a few play sets that are still on shelf, such as the Ghost, the Firehawk, which is a four plus set, the Fang Fighter from the Fang Fighter and TIE Interceptor. It is a bit funny that this year's UCS set, the TIE Interceptor, is not represented in the advent. I feel like that's quite a big milestone that LEGO might want to represent, but perhaps we'll see that next year. There is also the Wire Wing, which is in the bigger Yavin playset. The MIDI scale build is included there. We also have the T6 and the Yoda Shuttle. Both very controversial sets, but it's nice to see that LEGO are proud of all of their ships. Now, the rest of them don't currently have any sets. There's a few, like there is an X-Wing and TIE. The TIE Fighter is based on the older style of LEGO where they've included some blue because the blue screen used in Star Wars when filming was reflected on some of the tides, making them seem a bit bluer than grey. So that is a nice inclusion, especially for 25 years of Star Wars. And we do get a TIE Fighter and X-Wing. In one of the new sets coming out this year, we've already taken a look at images and I will be speaking a bit more on that later on in this video. But we've got a mini kit, which means perhaps there's a new game coming out or perhaps they're just celebrating the Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga game, which is the first time we've received an official mini kit in a set from Lego, at least as far as I know. So who knows? Maybe next year we'll get ourselves a Kyber brick, but this is a really, really fun and really, really nice addition. If you do want to build a mini kit already, there are free instructions over on my Rebrickable. If you haven't built one before and you can probably make yourself a full collection by the time you get your hands on this advent. Now there's also a build very similar to Vader's Castle. Personally, I don't think we'll see Vader's Castle anytime soon, but it would be amazing to get a Fortress Inquisitorious from 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 the various other times it's shown up but i will try to keep this video spoiler free in case someone hasn't watched certain star wars content but i'd love to see a fortress inquisitorious it looks like vader's castle but it's not quite vader's castle i think the slopes on the side are a bit different and there's no lava beneath it. So it definitely could represent a future build Lego perhaps have in the works. And we also get a Jubba's Cell Barge in the advent, of course, based on the UCS set. Everyone, including myself now, is expecting to release later this year. Don't forget, UCS sets only come with two figures. So I'm expecting Jubba and Salacious B. Crumb, but I would love for Lego to pack it full of minifigures and make it more of a master builder series than a UCS. Now there are two more builds, one of which is seemingly a U-Wing. I have seen a bit of debate what sort of ship this could be. I'm pretty sure it's a U-Wing. The other one that I've seen people debate and not really know what it is, I'm pretty confident in saying that is meant to represent a Fang Fighter, but a U-Wing could mean an Andor Season 2 set, perhaps with Cassian, K2SO. If we could get one based on Rogue One with all of the main minifigures from Rogue One, that would also be really, really nice. Perhaps that is next year's UCS set because it only makes sense LEGO would be working on it right now. Now, the other build is the main part of the video because you'll notice we spoke about Wolfie. You saw the Rogue Class Shuttle in the thumbnail and that is exactly what this build is. It's a Rogue Class Shuttle. For Bad Batch Season 1, we got the Marauder. Quite a large ship. I think it was about 90 odd pound, or at least that's what I pre-ordered mine for. And then we got the Justifier for Season 2, 150 pound. If we could get a Rogue Class Shuttle, 
for 150 pound i really want to say 120 pound but i think possibly 150 pound if lego really was impacted by the justifier being so expensive and not many people picking it up at full price perhaps they'll give us a road class shuttle at 120 pound but nonetheless i would like it to have quite a little interior similar to the bad batch marauder but a bit wider include wolf include perhaps a few of the other name clones we saw if not a commando and a wolf pack trooper but i think they'll probably save the wolf pack for a battle pack which also would go very very nice alongside it because it technically would make it the cheapest bad batch set we have got to date now i would also like to see a remora or perhaps the little ship that breaks off from the remora both of them would be very very welcome but there's no reason that they can only make one off season three so i'd love to see a few of course next year we've got another tales plan for may 4th and i think there's meant to be another vision series alongside skeleton crew of course acolyte hasn't received any sets we've got the mandalorian grogu movie which i still think is coming out sometime next year fingers crossed and that is on top of everything that i'm sure they are yet to announce i'd love to see an ahsoka season two controversially i'd actually like to see a boba fett season two because i feel like they've built up his character and they haven't done anything with it season one was purely character development they've got to do something with it otherwise it makes the whole season pointless except for the one mandalorian episode so that is the advent calendar but what about everything else going on? Well, we have a new Clone Wars Anakin minifigure, and this is taken straight from the Rebuild the Galaxy trailer. Now, it possibly could be the same model to the 2018 one that we got, and it also could just be from one of the animations they've made, or perhaps even the Skywalker Saga game, but I am hopeful that this is a new Clone Wars Anakin because I'd love to see some more Clone Wars sets after making my video of the Clone Wars sets that I personally would make. I agree that it'd be lovely to get our hands on some more Clone Wars sets. Now they would be in a style different to the original sets but that didn't stop them making a set for season 7. So hopefully Lego can give us some more Clone Wars sets and another Anakin figure especially in his dark red and dark blue costume is very very welcome especially when companies are charging over 20 pound for the custom and it doesn't even give you the complete minifigure we've also seen our first skeleton crew figures revealed if you weren't aware we are waiting on a skeleton cruise ship i believe it was meant to be out in january if i remember correctly and then the show got delayed it got pushed back so the lego set had to get pushed back because lego aren't going to be releasing a hundred pound or more ship when the show isn't even out, which they kind of are relying on to buy this ship. We know absolutely nothing about Skeleton and crew, except for there's going to be a bunch of younglings, which knowing Star Wars might not end so good. Jude Law starring in it, and there's a possible appearance from Vayne, which is a rumour I started myself, so take that as you will. But I can almost guarantee that Vayne is going to show up sometime in the show. Now, I can include an image of this Lego figure on screen, I don't know the name of this character. I don't know if the names have been released. We know it is a character from Skeleton Crew because of the box art that got leaked for some sort of packaging on one of their metal poster small things. Honestly, I don't really know what they are. But the set is meant to be set number 75374, the Onyx Cinder for $140 euros and is meant to be coming out August 1st with 1,325 pieces. So it's a massive ship. I would love to see minimum a five minifigure set, at least five minifigures, possibly more dependent on how many main characters we have. I feel like this is gonna be similar to the Bad Batch set, and they're gonna put all the main figures in with this ship, and hopefully this time the ship at least survives the show. Up next, we have a bit of storyline for Rebuild the Galaxy that is apparently leaked. I've been going on for weeks, since the trailer really, about seeing a Sixes, which is a spin on the Clone Wars fan favorite character, 5 CT5555, because in Lords of the Sith, the author misremembered Fives, and named a clone six here something that vader's looking back on it's a really good book if you do have the time to read it i didn't realize that sixes had actually been given a little backstory in lego and 
In fact, in Star Wars generally, so straight from the Wikipedia, Sixes is meant to be a 501st jet trooper who told no to Palpatine during Order 66, and that is why he didn't execute Jedi Bob, which is crazy. There is actually a backstory to this character. Initially, I said it as a joke because we build the galaxy has a load of X fighters, tire wings, Ewok bounty hunters, see three POs even a bounty hunter, so who knows what is possible. You've got L3GO as in a droid called Lego, which is something that I don't think any other company has been able to name a Star Wars character after them. So props to Lego for that. As Sixes is actually implemented into the lore and is so closely related to Jedi Bob. Surely that's got to be the clone we've got in the set. There have been images of a Mon Calamaran and people have been pointing out that the head pattern is a little different to the Akbar we got for the Force Awakens. And I assume the Force Awakens one was similar to every other version. But I think possibly this is just a head for another character, perhaps some sort of general traveling with the clone and Jedi Bob. And I really hope we either get a Sixes, which would be a custom printed 501st Jet Trooper, or perhaps Sixes can have their own uniform, either worn down or just a completely different pattern to fit the colour of Jedi Bob's ship, because LEGO can really do anything with these sets. And whilst we're on the storyline for Rebuild the Galaxy, Jedi Bob will be worn similar to Benny, at least that is what the rumours are saying, as it's based on a 2002 figure, that was 22 years ago. So Benny is definitely getting on. He was officially named in 2009, I believe, because that's when I got into Lego Star Wars. So it's an easy year to remember. And it could possibly hint at some sort of Order 66 in the show, if not in a Lego set. I feel like it's quite hard to portray in a Lego set because when I say I want Order 66 Lego sets, I just mean I want Jedi, clones and nice scenes such as Felucia. This is coming from set 75388. Again, all of this is just pure speculation. Jedi Bob Starfighter for 40 dollar euros can be expected August 1st. That's almost a month away. So we should be getting some images now, like with the Dark Falcon, the X Fighter and Tie Wing. And this is meant to include 305 pieces. So it's going to be a bit bigger than 145 scale. Possibly 130 scale, which honestly is nice. It's still a minifigure scale, but I will be converting it like Kenobi Starfighter just behind me. Now, I'll try and make my way through these other leaks quite quickly. These are other things that I've seen people mention across Reddit, across Instagram, across YouTube comments, and I have to touch upon them as we are covering everything else. People have been talking about a 360 degree printed phase one clone helmet and Whilst this is a completely fake rumour or there's no strong sources to back this up, I don't think this is completely impossible for the future of LEGO. We've got dual moulded Stormtrooper helmets. Clone Troopers aren't as detailed as Stormtrooper helmets to ever get dual moulded on a regular basis, but perhaps some point at the next anniversary of Attack of the Clones, we could get some dual molded phase one clone trooper helmets, which would be a pretty cool thing to get. But I think there's probably a higher chance of Lego rolling out printed arms to absolutely every clone trooper before we get dual molded clone helmets. We've also got images of an Ezra and Thrawn design meant to be from set 75385, the Battle of Peridia for 55 dollar euros with 381 pieces. By the way, a dollar euro is just because all of these are given in dollars slash euros. So that isn't a new currency that I have invented. That's simply an easier way of saying United States dollars and euro. So just to clear up any confusion, because I realized I never explained it and just started saying it. These could also definitely work well in a re-release Imperial Star Destroyer, which I know I go on about Lego re-releasing sets. They really could give us another Star Destroyer, give us Thrawn, Ezra, Enoch, a few of the worn down Stormtroopers. In fact, I'd love to get a battle pack of the Night Sister Stormtroopers because they are some really cool figures. And I know we could probably combine a regular Stormtrooper with perhaps a few Ninjago elements. So I'll look at doing that at some point. 
but I'd love for LEGO to give us another Stormtrooper battle pack so we can amass a whole army to display behind Thrawn, Enoch, and the rest of our Ahsoka minifigures. Light side Darth Vader and the Dark Falcon of course come from Infinities and the Use on Von War. If you're a fan of Legends or EU or want to know more about that, I do have another video. So that and the X-Fighter tie wing video will be on the end screen for you to check out because I think it's going to go over so many people's heads that Lego have taken the Dark Falcon, Lego have taken the light side Vader from actual Star Wars material. So if this has been asked for by Star Wars or whether Lego have taken it on themselves and just taken it straight from their show and this is a pure coincidence, I really like the fact that we're getting some more Legends content in Lego form. And I will definitely be picking this up as soon as I can to review here on the channel. So make sure you drop a like if you're enjoying the video already and subscribe so you don't miss out on my Dark Side Falcon Lego set review. And we are meant to be getting another return of the Jedi set in 2024. It's a year later than the anniversary. So perhaps this is something they couldn't have in time or perhaps this is something to go alongside the UCS Jabba Salvage. All arrows are pointing straight to this UCS set because this is meant to be the escape from the Sarlacc pit. Set number 75396 coming out for 80 dollar euros. 1,132 pieces coming out August 1st, which should go alongside the UCS Jabba set or perhaps the UCS Jabba will be a bit later. I can't remember what I said now when that's meant to be coming out. But this is meant to include Ninum as a bonus figure, which makes sense being a return of the Jedi set. So perhaps I have to pick this up just for the Ninum. And it could also include Lando, Luke's, and a few minifigures that they missed out last time. Last time we got Chewie, we got Han, we got Skiff Guard, and we got Boba Fett. Well, We've got an Empire Strikes Boba mech out on shelf, so you can get rid of Boba for this set. And to be fair, Chewie, Han and the Skiff Guard, I wouldn't like to see show up again because we had them so recently. And they can do them again in a few years because there were at least two Skiffs present with Jubba's Salvage. So perhaps they can give us the rest of the minifigures now and then redo the other set in a few years time. I understand people didn't pick that up, will want the minifigures. I think as that is also still available on the aftermarket, I'm not sure how pricey that is if you're buying the UCS Jabba Salvage you're probably not going to mind paying a little bit extra for an older set but that nine num anniversary minifigure is going to look really really nice and I'm interested if they give us for that piece count a more detailed Sarlacc perhaps they're giving us two skiffs and all of the minifigures in one set the perfect companion set for the UCS Jabba Salvage. But we're also meant to be getting a buildable C-3PO. I'm aware of no new information on that yet. Set 75398, $140 euros, coming out August 1st. But we did get a sneak peek at the droid set, which you can watch, that is on my X-Wing TIE Fighter, TIE Wing X Fighter video. So check that out in the end screen. And finally, before we go, this isn't Star Wars, but Icon set 1,391. Atlantis Apartment Spaceship is amazing for your Star Wars custom minifigures. This set is to include 51 different printed minifigure heads, most of which we have all been unable to identify. So these are possibly updates on old heads or completely new heads. And I think that's gonna be amazing, dependent on the price, if you can get it on a sale. I hope you did enjoy today's video. Of course, if you did, smash that like button and subscribe so you don't miss out. I seem to be making these monthly again. So when we get more leaks next month, I'll have the latest information and let you know what you can be expecting from both Lego and Star Wars. Not only Lego Star Wars, but that is the focus on the channel right now. I went out on a limb for today's video and just recorded it, so I do apologize if any parts are out of focus or blurry, or perhaps I'm not centered in frame because I tend to move around a lot. But that is all for me today here on the Master Moldy channel. May the bricks be with you always.